Hi everyone, this is Bishop Jerry Vinke, and I'd like to invite you to listen to a few special messages from members of our Chantry staff. If you don't know, these staff members are what make up the leadership of some of our diocesan ministries and programs. Without them, our diocese would not be able to complete its mission to be disciples who go and make other disciples through witnessing by faith, hope, and love. One way we can do this is by growing our relationship with all people of all ages, in all places, at all times. Hi, my name is Bill Mayer, and I am the Director of the Offices of Youth Ministry, Religious Education, and Family Life for the Diocese of Salina. For 35 years, two of these offices were under Sister Barbara Ellen's careful watch and care. Sister Barbara dedicated her life to working tirelessly on behalf of the young people of our diocese. It is an honor and a privilege to continue the work that she started. Every summer, we watch an incredible group of young people who, out of love for God and their faith, give up their summers to teach high school, junior high, and grade schoolers about God. Our young people serve the elderly, sick, and those in need of a helping hand in communities all across the diocese. We are blessed to have great parents and adults who generously share their time and talents as they work with our leaders as sponsors and hosts. Please know that the Holy Spirit is alive and well in our young people, and it is through your incredible generosity that these programs are possible. Thank you for all you do for the young people of the Diocese of Salina. Hi, my name is Katie Hamel, and I'm the editor of our diocesan publications, The Register and Faith Magazine. I can't even begin to express to you how your generosity has made evangelization possible through our publications and communications efforts. Just over three years ago, all we had was our diocesan newspaper, The Register, as our main source of communication. And now we've grown to include Faith Magazine, an interactive website, several active social media platforms, video production, and a regular podcast. These different platforms engage different people at different ages and different places at all times. And I wish I could show you how much our readers and listeners are falling more in love with Christ. Your generosity makes this possible. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff Andrews, and I am the superintendent of Catholic schools for our diocese. Much like the Ministry of Religious Education and Youth Ministry, our Catholic schools are impacting the young people of our diocese. We are equipping students with a high-quality academic education and the skills to defend their faith. One of the ways we do this is by integrating the seven themes of Catholic social teaching into our classrooms as they work to prepare for the vocation God is calling them. Ensuring that all students receive a well-rounded quality education that develops the whole child, mind, body, and soul. Students are also growing in their virtues and displaying this in the classrooms, athletic fields, and in their communities. It's not just the students who benefit from Catholic school environment. It's the parents, teachers, staff, and communities of the Salina Diocese. Thank you for all you do for our Catholic schools. I want to say thank you to Bill, Katie, and Jeff but also to all the staff members who diligently work to let the Holy Spirit work through them as they serve our Lord through their ministry at the diocese. The readings today talk about keeping the commandments and the Holy Spirit. There are two lines from Scripture I would like to address. From the Gospel we hear, Bring your gift to the altar. This is a small phrase within a line of Scripture, but I want to focus on it for just a second. God invites us to bring our gifts to the altar. What gifts? Bill brings a passion for the faith that he shares with our young people. Katie brings the faith alive through her writing. Jeff brings a sense of unified leadership in the faith to our schools. So what gifts do you bring? From the second reading, we find the line, What eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him. This God has revealed to us through the Spirit. None of us know the glory that awaits us if we keep close to Christ and follow His commandments. Those who walk the narrow path are promised heaven. But what is heaven? Only the Spirit knows. But we know that the more we love God, the more possible heaven will be our reward. And so we do our best to love God. But being a disciple, which is our diocesan mission, is helping other people to love God so that they might also attain heaven. I hope you join us in leaving your gifts at the altar and helping others to encounter Christ. You can do this in many ways through your God-given talents, but also through a gift to the Bishop's Annual Appeal, Call to Share. 
Katie Platten from the Catholic Foundation for the Diocese of Salina will now speak on this. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Platten, CEO of the Catholic Foundation. I think a lot about what my own gifts are and how I can use them to serve Christ. I invite you to do the same. This weekend kicks off our 2023 Bishop's Annual Appeal Call to Share. This appeal funds the mission of our diocese by supporting its ministries, just as Bill, Katie Hamel, and Jeff talked about earlier. If you have a desire to help bring people to Jesus, please support this appeal. Our goal this year is $2.4 million. Your gift is what makes the mission of our diocese possible to be disciples who make disciples through witnessing by faith, hope, and love. I hope you consider joining us in this mission. In the coming weeks, you will receive a letter from Bishop Vinke with more information about the appeal support and how to make a gift. I sincerely hope you take a few moments to prayerfully consider making a gift to support the work of our diocese. You make all the great work our diocese is able to do possible. Thank you for your consideration, and may God bless you and all your families.